Hello YouTube, Jeff the Fib Guy here, welcome back to a new YouTube video and today we are back on the Fiorentina career mode and we are attending a press conference to kick this episode off we're, we're about to come up against third in the league which is AC Milan we are three points ahead of them in second and we're hoping to beat them so we're keeping that morale up if you're new around here please subscribe for we are on our road to 100 subscribers two more days and it's the end of this month so the mission is still there to hit 100 subscribers by the end of this month this is the team we're going to go in uh, the match with and yeah, I'll so guys, we'll lineup. go through our lineup one more time. Is it four triple two formations? Tchaikovsky in goal, Smaller, Milinkovic, Chakuna, and Pavard in defence, Tonali and Polgar in DM, Kiesa and Pilotti in at those wide compositions, Kwame and Katrone up front. This is the AC Milan lineup, four three one two. Uh, Donna Roman, down. We've got some good players. Ket is playing. Rebic and Aspas. Rebic has been uh, doing insane in real life since he started playing for them. But anyway, let's get this game on the way. Hopefully we can beat these because I do want to be challenging Juve. Uh, There we go, 1-0, who is that, Patrick Cotone? Yes it is, tidy little fake shot to line that shot up mine, did you see that, that was beautiful, 3 minutes in and we're 1-0 up, beautiful play between Tonelli and Cotone, there's that fake shot, and we're 1-0 up guys, and that is Patrick Cotone's Third goal in this area since the since the joint will give us a free kick. What um okay. That was a wasted opportunity but I think I just ran out of time. But anyway guys, one nil at the half time break. Uh, quite a tight game, AC Milan have sort of controlled it since we scored the goal, let's get the second half on the way. Mertens. Oh! <laughs> it just bounced off him, I never even pressed shoot. The Sakanini's got another goal after coming on as a super sub. Damn, this guy is a star for me right now he can't stop scoring coming off the bench Mertens with the assist and he just pings it into that bottom corner Rafik Sakanini gets two goals in the Serie A after coming off the bench both times and there we go we beat AC Milan 2-0 and this season is looking very promising for us. We get the early goal and then the late goal. Tonali gets him on the match for us. We're going to go into this post-match press conference. Uh, we sort of just need Juventus to slip up really. Which probably isn't going to happen. Because they're so good. Smolin is doing well. Players deserve all the credit. There's no stopping us. And yeah, we're coming up against Mo uh, Monaco in the Europa League. Mertens is liking the amount of game time that he's getting. Chance 
everyone's wanting Dykes, honestly. But he's so crucial to the second team, it's like I'm too afraid to let him go. Loan offer for Ramirez. Jose Maria Ramirez. Yeah, Sparta Rotterdam. I don't know where that where's Rotterdam at? Is it in Holland? No, it's not in Holland. Right, we're gonna take a risk here and I think I think we're gonna use our second team against Monaco. So Viragi will come off and Sotil will play. Who else is gonna maybe come on for us? I think that's probably gonna be it. So we've got Vergara, Garcia, who's got the five star, four star, Ken Prince Boateng. Are we gonna play Belotti? I don't know about that. It's because Vlahovic has gone out on loan. We'll play Mertens. And then we'll put Belotti on the bench. Holgar, you're not going to play centre back. We'll play. Who will we play in centre back? We'll play Milenkovic. He's still quite young, so he needs as much game time as we can give him. But yeah, that is the team we're going to go in this match against Monaco with. It might turn out to be an epic fail. We're going to have a look at this INS Hadji though. 3 star, 5 star. Looking... He's another attacker though. I don't feel like we need him. We'll go into this press conference. Uh, yeah, so some young lads are going to... We're going to have to like be careful playing with our second team against Monaco depending on what their team looks like if they still have Ben Yedder and stuff we could be looking to have a hard game here but right I'll guys see we'll go lineup. through our lineup one more time it is a 4-4-2 formation Boateng Mertens up front Sotil Sakinini on the wing Garcia Vergara in the centre, Rasmussen, Milankovic, Dykes, Defresne and Murek in our back line. And now we're going to have a look at the Monaco lineup. The Compton goal, Kanate. What a team. We might get our asses handed to us here. Diego Costa isn't much of. Uh, two oldish strikers, really. Gelson Martins could be a threat. But yeah, let's get this Europa League bout on the way. Right. I'm expecting a lot of speed in this game. Seems so, we're playing some young lads. But then we're playing two old attackers as well, so that might be a downfall. Mertens is still quite quick though. And then Zucanini's like fast as hell. He's proved that coming off the bench for us in the main team. Ben Yedo will definitely be a threat. And then Gilson Martin's down that wing. De Fresnay's got that covered. Two to Martins. Penalty! They've gifted us a penalty 11 minutes into the game. This could be crucial to this match right now. It's definitely a penalty. But who has the best penalties? Dries Mertens does. Oh, I timed it yellow, but he still scores. There we go, we're 1-0 up against Monaco in the round of 32 match against Monaco. And that goal could be crazy.
crucial to Panini. And there we go, guys. It is the penalty that is the decider for the first leg against Monaco. Trace Mertens scoring it. And we're going to go into this post-match press conference. Um, Barcelona is in the Europa League. What the heck? Let's hope we don't get matched up against them until the final. Competition is good, obviously. We were the bet team. We just played our game. And yeah guys, Roma is up next. We are three points behind. Juventus, well, six points now because they've got a game in hand. But yeah, uh, we're going to end the episode there. Actually, where is Roma? They're eighth. What's their record looking? Ah, they've just came off a win. But anyway guys, that's going to be the end of this video. If you did enjoy, please hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new. Now I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.